to the second edition of Eye of the Hurricane, where Evan Goldbus and myself will ask your questions to the people that are important to the Hurricanes this season. Lucky enough today to have Captain Tim Payne. Um, Payne, obviously, finger injury at the moment. Um, I've had a thousand Twitters and Facebooks in. Um, how have you done it? Um, how long are you going to be out for and what do we expect to, to get from you this season? Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty frustrating at the moment, mate. Um, obviously, just got hit in the nets uh, training with, with Tasmania, so uh, at the moment we're, we're saying indefinitely, so uh, we're just going to give it every chance to do. Obviously, we've had a few issues with it in the last year or two, so it's important that I get it right and yep. um, have it 100%. Uh, excellent. Uh, Simon's asked a question. I would like to know if you're going to be opening the innings, uh, obviously if you're available, and who would you be opening with? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think if, if I'm if I am playing at that stage, then I think the meetings where, where I've played my best 2020 cricket, so um, that's that's something I'll be looking to do. Um, as for, for partners, I think you know, there could be a number of guys. We've got uh, Phil Jakes down from New South Wales, Mark Cosgrove, uh, Rhett Lockyer, um, and even I think in the first two games, someone like Ricky Connick from Beach Net. So, um, yeah, we've certainly got plenty of batting options. Uh, excellent. Uh, Josh wants to know who do you think is going to be our toughest opponent? Obviously, we'll be the side to beat. Um, who else is going to be up there? Uh, yeah, look, I think all the sides look pretty strong. Um, I think on any on any day, I think you know, it's a bit of a cliche, but it is 2020 cricket. It's a bit like that. All the squads are pretty even, and on any day, anyone can beat anyone. But um, I think probably for just for having a very dangerous squad, I'd say the Melbourne Renegades. have got guys like Aaron Finch and, and Brad Hodge at the top of their batting, uh, and then with their bowling, they've got Dirk Nanners and, and Sean Tate. So it's pretty devastating. Along with um, I suppose their overseas form the signings of Shahid Afridi and and Razak, uh, who give plenty of, I suppose, X-Factor for 2020 cricket, so they'll be tough to do. No, they definitely do. Uh, Callum would like to know if you could open with anyone in the world. Uh, who would that be? Obviously, Davey Warner's had a fantastic time. You've got Chris Gale, guys like that. Yeah, definitely. I think those two would probably be the first two. I uh, wouldn't mind batting a three, actually, coming <laughs> in behind those two, but, but certainly them. And um, you know, even someone like Shane Watson, someone that takes the pressure off you and, and can find the boundary will. Yeah, all very fine players. Um, Recruities uh, tweeted in or Facebooked in. Um, obviously, young cricketer wants to know are there any tips that you might be able to give? Obviously, uh, we can keep a batsman. Um, obviously, good in the field as well. So. Good in the field? Yeah. Me? I've seen you running around there. Yeah, thanks, mate. Bowler on as well. So. <laughs> um, look, not really. I mean, I think junior, junior cricket's like a lot of junior sport, it's just about enjoying yourself and, and trying nice things. So, if you're going to be a wicket keeper or a batsman or a bowler, then I think. Thing to do when you're a junior cricketer, as I said, is, is just to enjoy it and, and try all aspects of cricket and, and see what, what sits well with you, I guess. I suppose you never know where you're going to be in five years' time, especially when you're young. You might no, exactly right. You shoot up a couple of feet and you become a fast bowler rather than a batsman that you probably started at. Yeah, be, well, so. I, was, I was the opposite. I started as a very, very fast bowler and ended up with a keeper, so it's funny how it works. Um, also, um, if you hadn't become a cricketer, what, what do you think you'd be these days? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, well, in my younger days, I was working as a teller in Commonwealth Bank, so I'd like to think I would have maybe moved up the ladder a little bit from being a teller, but um, that's probably the career I was looking at there. Handing out the bills instead of taking it. Out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, I'm certainly happy to be doing what I'm doing at the moment. I'm very lucky. Uh, excellent. Um, obviously, you've played Test cricket. Um, Dan would like to know where you rank captain in your home city. Um, obviously in the Big Bash League compared to Test Cricket, um, obviously Captain Australia A as well. Yeah, um, well it's obviously a huge honour. I'm um, Hobart born and bred, so um, you know, I'm really looking forward to, to getting out there and captain the Hurricanes in front of hopefully a really big crowd here. So um, certainly I think um, my cricketing dream, anyone's cricketing dream is getting their big green cap. Um, that's something I'll, I'll certainly never forget. But um, I think you know, with the first time I walk out with the Hurricanes, particularly here at, at Blunston Arena, Bell Reef. Yep. Um, Hurricane you know, House. Hurricane House, we're going to run with uh, during the summer. Uh, that will certainly be you know, a, a huge deal for me. Yep, uh, it will be a very exciting time, I would have thought. Uh, Josh would like to know what it was like running for Clarence uh, in the <laughs> TSL. Uh, it was good fun. Um, obviously, again, being a professional cricket, I've been able to play footy for since I was 16, so it's, it's quite a while ago now. It's something I certainly miss doing, so uh, I enjoy getting out there on a Saturday and running around. And, and a bit of banter. Say, yeah, yep. so. I've uh, definitely seen it firsthand. <laughs> oh, it's got to be done, doesn't it? It does. Well, you've got to enjoy yourself. Exactly right. Um, 
Favourite movie? I'm asking all the players when we get, get around there. Um, favourite movie? Um, I'd have to say probably The Hangover movies at the moment would be my, my favourite. So you're a comedy man? Uh, I am, yeah. Although I did go and watch the first one with, with Damien Ryan. He's, he's a good man to watch a movie with. He's quite loud and entertaining. So. Yeah, he's very funny um, man. He had certainly added to it, but uh, they'd have to say they're definitely my favourites at the stage. Got a um, couple of last ones in. Uh, one from, oh, both from ex-teammates. One's going to be a Hurricane player. Um, Tim would like to know why do you, why you call Claude? Yeah, that's a, that's a tricky question. Um, obviously, Tim McDonald. There's a few answers to that one. The one I like to go with is um, obviously Tim spent a bit of time down here in, in Tasmania playing playing for the Tigers, um, and I think it is when I, I was finished in the gym once and I, I came out and had a shower in, in the change rooms. I think Macca saw me stripped down and, and thought my body resembled uh, Claude Van Dan, so that's the story I've been telling everyone anyway. But thanks uh, for that question, Mac. It was a good one. Very nice, very nice. And uh, Travis Burt, uh, once you broke your nose, um, how did this happen? Another good question from Travis. Um, I'm not sure if I should say. I've seen enough water under the bridge, actually. I can probably tell the true story <laughs> for this one. Uh, we're at the academy a few years ago, and we, we uh, snuck into a, a local footy side. Played a game on one Saturday and, and me, as you know, got for being pretty hard at the footy, put my head over the ball and, <laughs> and managed to cop one early in the first quarter. So, so you cop one from someone on the boundary then? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's probably tripped over someone, <laughs> tripped over the fence or something like that. But, uh, I was certainly going in for a hard ball head and cop one a bit high, took the free kick and then drove home. <laughs> Excellent. Um, thanks, Tim. Uh, obviously, we need your input, so make sure you get onto Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we want you to like us, we want you to follow us. We also need you to get online and, and get a membership. It's really important. Uh, at the end of the day, it's your support that's going to help us get to the top this year.